A very interesting poll came out yesterday with uh, really some conflicted results. Here's the heart of the matter though. According to this new Pew Research poll that actually surveyed more than 10,000 people, that is one hell of a representative sample. And to be honest, I am quite impressed that they went that far. That's a great poll, should be pretty trustworthy. But here's what they found. They found that 59% of Republicans and Republican leaning voters said that Trump's comments often or sometimes make them feel concerned. 53% said they feel embarrassed by Donald Trump's statements and 41% said that his statements make them feel exhausted. So a majority of Republicans believe that Donald Trump's statements give them cause for concern or they just flat out embarrass them. And that's the good news from the poll because, uh, well, also there's 47% said his statements make them feel confused. Hey, I I'm with you on that one. This man has tweeted out plenty of things that make absolutely no sense. But again, that's where the good news ends. And here comes the really weird and conflicting part. After you already had a majority say like, yeah, I'm concerned and no, oh, I'm embarrassed. Then you had 79% say they often or sometimes feel hopeful after Trump speaks. 78% say they feel entertained. That, that's a problem in and of itself, right? The, the president's not supposed to be an entertainer. So if 78% feel entertained, then yeah, we're, we're pretty much done as a country at that point. If we would rather have an entertainer than a leader, then yeah, there's no coming back from that. 76% uh, said they felt informed and happy. So 76% of you are absolute idiots. If you walk away from hearing Donald Trump speak for more than 30 seconds and your first feeling is, wow, I feel really informed. <sighs> Something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Please, for the love of God, find the nearest mental health facility, hospital, whatever it is, get yourself a CAT scan because you should not ever feel informed after listening to Donald Trump speak. And three fourths, 75% of Republican identifying respondents said Trump's statements made them feel proud. Proud. They're proud when he goes out there and says sleepy eyed Chuck Todd. Yeah, Chuck Todd is an idiot, but I don't even understand that insult. Low IQ Maxine Waters. That's disgraceful on multiple different levels. And that makes you feel proud He's told more than 10,000 lies in two and a half years. That makes you proud or that entertains you? Good God. But now you understand why I say that this poll had conflicting results. Because you can't have 53% of Republicans say they're embarrassed and yet 79%, 75% say they're proud. The, those numbers overlap in a way that they creates more than 100%. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like if 75% say, oh, I, I, I'm proud of these statements and then 53% say, oh, I'm embarrassed by it. There, there's an overlap there that can't statistically exist. But that shows you what's in the mind of a Trump supporter. Basically what's in the mind of a Republican. Oh, I am embarrassed, but I'm also proud of it. I love that, but I hate it. That's the mindset we're dealing with these Republican voters. and. Yes, this is a very big sample size, and I believe this is a fairly accurate poll as a result of that. However, some of these numbers can be used to our advantage, but the rest of them show us that for these hardcore Trumpers out there, it's best to just leave them alone and not even attempt to pander to them in this primary for the Democrats. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.